Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back. We are here for the hashtag Shop My Stash 2023 open collaboration hosted by Lori at Enchanted Dream 71. Today we are doing tags to go into the stack tag pockets that we did last time. So, um, yeah, I pulled out, I don't have any more of this paper, but I pulled out this and um, these two that we had. And I think I'd like to cut it at five inches and fold it because, um, let's see how long, these are all different heights. Let me measure these because we're going to need them in various. So this one is the seven inch, this one is eight inch, and this one is six, right? Um, actually, it's half inch in increments because of the folding. So seven, seven and a half, eight. And we need a little bit to hang over the top. So um, anyway, let's cut these. What did I say? Two and a half inches should fit in the pocket, and we can trim them down if we need to. So I'm um, two and a half times two is five because I want it to be a little extra sturdy because these are what you'll be putting in and out of the pocket. See, we're still using our stash. That's the important thing about this. It's a way to uh, trigger ideas. Um, so that we can stop collecting so much and start using what we have. I have so much stuff I could never use it if I kept buying stuff. I bought very little last year and I feel like I didn't even make a dent. So I'm going to continue that this year. So we are going to fold these and then I will trim them. Make sure I hit record. Yes, I did. And let's see if I can get this finished before the um, battery decides to die on me because it's not holding a charge very long. <clears throat> I used to be able to get a whole week of videos, two or three a day. Um, now I'm luck lucky if I get two or three videos. So. All right, so those are folded in half. So we want, let's just take the one, this is the tallest one. I think I'll use this. So we're gonna need a tag for this pocket and that is gonna fit in there. But this is the one I wanna see how tall I want that one. Now, uh, I put a little bit too much glue on that one so I might have to trim this one down a little bit. But, okay. Um, how much is that? One, two, three, four. Maybe I'll cut on this line here. Pull out the arm here. And yes, I am still using it upside down. It's my way. Okay, so I'm going to make this 8 inches. don't want it to be taller than my page. We can use this for something else. Alright, and then I will do what's the next pocket that I have. So, Alright, so we'll use this one as a contrast to that. So we'll do um, seven and a half. Sorry, I'm out of... That should work for that one. And then for the small one, we'll do six. And then we will revisit these pieces for the front pocket. And you can stick a lot of stuff inside of these, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone. Where do I, see my bone folder gets stuck over here. When I'm making a video, I move everything over to the right. <laughs> My bone folder gets stuck over there. Let's start with the tall one. And then we'll go ahead and glue this down. I 
I'm not really going to ink it because there's plenty of opportunities to ink when we're decorating these. Uh, the only reason I inked those before was because I was inking the um, that white paper on the edge. So there we go. And I'm going to set that aside to dry before I punch it. And I'll go ahead and just glue all these. The reason I use my bone folder, it does flatten it, but it also helps distribute the glue so that, <coughs> excuse me, it goes to the edges. All right, and then we have this one. Is that right? I think this one was supposed to be seven, but it'll be fine because we are making tags, so we can put a hole or something in the top to keep it from going all the way down. A hole. A ribbon. <laughs> a hole and a ribbon. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, so it's eight, seven and a half, seven. This one should have been seven, but that's okay. We will make it work, okay? So now we need the hole punch, which I already put away but because we're making tags you can make them look like tickets I want to double check and make sure this is gonna fit yeah that'll be fine okay and I am gonna have to come along here and put a little bit of extra to hold that down but it shouldn't be bad I'm gonna get my hole punch this is the main reason my desk doesn't get cleaned off because I put stuff away and then I need it again. And I sometimes think, oh, well, I'm going to need that. All right. <clears throat> um, let's start with the dry one. I guess I can close the glue. But I am going to leave it inverted. Let's see. Can I get it? I'll put it in my paint holder. Let's see if it stays. Nope. I'll just lay it on its side. All right, so we are going to make this look like a ticket. There again, we're gonna punch the quarters. Now, this one's kind of dark. If I was going to use this for journaling, I would not maybe not have glued it. But um, and you can still journal on this, maybe with a sharpie or something would be darker. Um, where's my whole bunch? Nope. Yeah, three sixteen. So I'm just going to punch a hole there. So that will be for this one. And like I said, I may have to come along here and... You know what else would work with this? All that washi tape that we've been collecting. Um, use the washi tape on the sides. and Because you can see this doesn't go over. Because the glue came I, when I switched glue bottles. So I'm going to trim like I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch on either side here. And my corner punches will still work, but I'm going to do both sides. And if I do both sides, then I'm going to have to probably put some glue there. Let's see. No, it's okay. All right. But I will have that edge. I think this looks really cool. What kind of... Uh, ribbon do I have here? Well, I didn't really need to punch a hole there. I could just do this. I 
can get it in there. Okay, so that will go. That will should fit better now. There we go. Gets a little tight toward the bottom. There we go. Okay. And then the way I did that um, tab, see, that'll keep it from from going under. Okay, so <clears throat> where's that other piece that I had? This one? So this one should go in there. We'll have to trim it again. This time I'm just going to trim off the whole eighth. Or was that an eighth? Now I'm do the quarter, I guess. Because I just need to glue this whole thing down. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my daughter um, registered for her wedding on uh, Amazon. So the wedding presents are starting to come in. Oh my goodness, they had to go rent a storage unit. They have uh, so much stuff, all the wedding presents and everything. There's just no room in the house and um, yeah it'd be like remember a father of the bride where the wedding presents were all over the living room my house is already too small I'm not going to punch a hole or a ribbon uh, put a ribbon in that one I'm just going to kind of leave that and then when we decorate it um, we can put something taller behind it as well um, you can see the six inch one would work quite nicely too so all right so there's one and I do have an extra gold so we might I'm gonna trim that off right now because I know it's so light and I just need that smidge cut off anyway Anyway, the dog goes nuts, so every time the door rings, so, yeah. All right, this is dry, so I can punch it. Where's my punch? Here we go. I really think this is a fun idea. Anybody could do this. And what a way to use up your stash. Fun way. So this one I am not going to tag. Sit that in there. You can put the numbers on the top for the bottom. Yeah, see that one? That one's perfect. And then something. I think I'll just take this piece. This is, if this fits in there, I can fold it this way. That would work. A little bit smaller. This one's two and three quarters. Let's do. Let's do two and a quarter. Just to make it, I mean, you know, make it easy on yourself so it can slide in the pocket. <clears throat> and we will glue this one in the opposite direction. Use it up. Monka. Okay. I need to get a little dish or something to put my my glue in here so it doesn't get all over my desk.
Okay, we come back to this piece when it's dry. Make sure I didn't glue anything down that wasn't supposed to be glued down. There we go. And work on this one. So this goes in the top. Yeah. It could have been uh, a half an inch longer would have been perfect, but it'll work. So do our corners to make it look like a ticket. Good thing I'm cutting this corner off. It's driving me crazy. It keeps getting stuck on everything. The glue didn't go quite to the edge on that one. Okay. So yeah, let's put another piece of uh, ribbon on that. A smaller piece. And this time we will just loop it around. And then that can go. This one's perfect for journaling. That's a lot of journaling space. That can go in there. <clears throat> and then we've got this one, which I may or may not, I'm going to trim that down. So in retrospect, I would probably do four and a half, because um, I'm cutting off a quarter of an inch and on each side, which is a half an inch, and I think I did five, right? Two and a quarter and two and a quarter is four and a half. Yes, okay. And get into the bottom of the bottle. Did I hit record? I come back in here and not record? Yes, okay, I did. Be just like me to do that. Okay, and then, so we've got this one that I need to punch while this is drying. And then we'll be pretty much done. Okay, so this one goes in here. And then we can put, you know, fabric or whatever on there when we're done. So we've got those tags and then this one we need to punch. And that's pretty good. I used just on three inserts here that are ready to decorate. There we go. And what I like is that this one has... Um, extra space. Now you could do this even smaller. I mean, <clears throat> you could take this one and just do like this, okay, and have a tiny little pocket. This could be, uh, this is just a an example, but I get most of my good ideas when I'm working on somebody else's idea. So this one has the most room. You could stick this here and just do it again, right? Stacked tag pockets, okay? So just an extra idea. So there you go. Those are our tags or make ahead tags. Um, I hope you guys are playing along and uh, shopping in your stash. Don't forget to check out the hashtag ShopMyStash2023. Um, that will be in the description box and it also will be in the title in case you forget. See you next time. Bye now.